Brothers and sisters, pray forgive me my absence. It has been far too long. Lord Hian. Gossetsu told us of your trials and tribulations on the steppe. Would that I had been present to witness your victory, my lord. Our victory, Yugiri, owed as much to each of my stalwart comrades as it did to me. Now rise. I will not suffer this excess of formality any longer. Alfino and Alize levy you, I presume. I am told we owe you much. It is a pleasure to meet you both. The pleasure is ours, Lord Hian. Though we were born and raised a world apart, our values are one and the same. Freedom, justice, liberty. Each of which Doma shall soon enjoy once more. Hopefully. I understand you have brought an army. Indeed. The Zayla tribes of the Azim Steppe have pledged their military might to the cause. Good. We, meanwhile, have secured the support of the Confederacy and a not insignificant number of your countrymen. The Blue Kojin, too, have expressed a willingness to join the fight, provided you agree to certain trade agreements following the liberation of Doma. The Shinobi will render what aid they can. However, Suino Sato refused to answer our call. No matter. What forces we have amassed far exceed my original expectations. You have my thanks. You should know that Xenos departed Doma not long after you left to find Lord Hian. We know not the reason why, but it would seem he was eager to return to Gear Abania. What? Have you heard anything from the Resistance? There hasn't been another attack, has there? Tataru assures me they are quite well. You need not worry. If anything, this turn of events would seem to be to our advantage. But there the good news ends. Yotsuyu retains her position as acting viceroy, and we have reports that the garrison at Doma Castle is preparing for a massive operation. We suspect that the Empire's attempt to eliminate you on the steppe may have been a prelude to a larger effort to purge the remaining pockets of resistance within Doma. The hour of reckoning is upon us. <laughs> the Han has spoken, and I, for one, am not inclined to argue. In this place, in this moment, I call upon you all. Twenty-five years of oppression, of tyranny, of shame. It ends with us. We will prevail. <laughs>